Sup fam, it is me, Andre Taylor, and today we are going to be listening to In Rainbows by Radiohead. Now, Radiohead has become one of my favorite bands that I've listened to. OK Computer was just absolutely amazing, and Kid A might just have become one of my new favorites. It's been in my rotation. I listen to it on runs. There's just something about that music that just brings me in. I don't want to waste any more time. Let's jump into the music. Radiohead in Rainbows. Track one, 15 Steps. Okay. inspired truly to me the drums were insane and every time they would intertwine guitar or any other instrument it just felt very harmonic and like everything even though it was chaotic fit together you know what i mean like it just fit all well together and insane song the lyrics are so real as well i'm gonna have to go over them again just to truly grasp what he was saying because off of first listen I was just so enhammered by the music and he has such a unique voice that it kind of just like swims in with the music. So I'm going to have to go through the lyrics again to really understand the gist of what everything is about. But that's an insane way to start an album, honestly. 10 out of 10. Track number two, Body Snatchers. Okay, this feels a little bit more punk inspired. I do not mm. understand what it is. I don't know. This really feels like punk. Scratch it. Wow, I feel transferred back to the early 2000s. Crazy. Hey. That was the most stiff dancing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> you're a you're a puppet. 
exploded its arm to get saved. can I say about it? It was thrashing around in a house party where people are pushing each other and just having a great time and just wilding out and just expressing themselves. That song just gave me so much energy. Wow. The percussions on it was obviously great as they always tend to be, but really the standout here was the guitar and bass players. They were just ripping on that shit. Oh, if that didn't start a riot, I don't know what would. I don't know what would. That was amazing. Two out of two right now, y'all. Two out of two. Track three, Nude. Hmm. Interesting sound. Hmm. This might be my favorite album of theirs. I know I, okay, Computer's more iconic, but this to my ears right now is, oh. oh. I feel like crying, like genuinely. That was so fucking beautiful and amazing. I'm sorry for all the language in this video, but I don't know how better to describe 
what I am feeling. That song was spiritual to me. I can't explain it. Like, my eyes right now are watering, y'all. I don't know, like, I, I don't know, like, every instrument, his voice, everything coming together, y'all. I mean, like, I'm not fucking around, you guys. Like, I feel like I'm gonna cry. That was, that was amazing. Oh my god. What like three songs into this album. This is This is I love this album already. I please please continue to do this, but I love this album already. It was a little cold, so I had to put a sweater on. Okay, track number four. Weird fishes slash arpeggy. Ooh, okay the drums. I feel like I've heard this. Mm. In this, in this ear, it's playing a different sound, but it's still melding together beautifully. This is beautiful. type of jam I, I'm I, I I just again I don't want to call things too early but the song was dynamic it was haunting in a way it felt like you were drowning which I think goes hand in hand with what the title's all about again I'm gonna need more time to dissect these lyrics and really understand and maybe even do some more research into the album to see exactly what was going on with the band during this time but the buildup, the drums, the two guitars with a leading guitar as well as the backup one, which played a very similar tune, but not the same, that felt more haunting than the more inviting. I, I, don't, I don't know. Four out of four so far, just like Wendy's. Track number five, All I Need. All these 
songs seem to lead with the drums, and I like that. Y'all, I can't wait to go back to Nude later. Ooh, that's funky. dynamic at first it was like okay this is simple it has a drum pattern and this weird burr, 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 burr. Ah! i don't know what that was but whatever that sound was it just was a simple thing that you could rock to that ah, ah, ah. and then he's like you know I mean? i'm not gonna do it because i'm you know i'm not i'm not i'm not your boy tommy tommy york this song is absolute fire. 10 out of 10 song. Track number six, Faust Arp. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. Okay. It's on again, off again, on again. Oh, fingers in the back of the mm. tingling, tingling, tingling. It's what you feel now, what you ought to. Start, start. With all you had in you, but no, no, no. This is beautiful. No reason, squeeze the tubes and empty bottles. I take a bow, take a bow, take a bow. That's what you feel now. Like. That's what section. you are to. Plastic bags in duplicate and triplicate. There from the neck up, I guess I'm stuck. 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 I love you, but enough is enough. Enough. And I stuck. There's no real reason. cute little song very sweet the melody was very beautiful the finger picking is on an a1 type status just like it's some of the best finger picking other than you know our, the last album we listened to that was just amazing and his his voice just continues to radiate with each song and really bring out an emotion out of a song that you didn't really know was possible. You also have these strings in the background, whether that's a violin, vi viola, or uh, I'm not sure of the exact instrument, but it just makes this more than epic feeling to the song that's beautiful and feels kind of fairy tale ish So I, I really enjoyed that song and, 
and again, we we it's probably of all the songs, I wouldn't even call it the weakest, but it kind of just feels like an interlude. I don't not like it. I just don't think it is. I just don't know if I would put it up with every other song we've heard so far. But I think that's unfair to to really put that in that category. Track seven, Reckoner. Mm. These drums, I'm telling you, the ooh, ooh, ooh. the Morocco, uh, the, the ones with the. Oh, I've heard this. This is a famous song, right? Mmm. It just don't make sense. It just don't make no sense. This is beautiful. I mean, okay, I get that OK Computer was more groundbreaking for the time, and I, I still think that will, in the long term, be my favorite album, but y'all, each song on here is certified banger. It just don't make no sense. His falsetto was hidden at an all-time high. The lyrics were on point. Instrumentation was just beautiful and nocturnal. I, I don't know what to say. I just don't. I don't even know what to say. We gonna have. To, we just gotta go to the next track because I don't even know. I'm lost for words. Track number eight, House of Cards. <laughs>
interesting in its sound but after all this as i keep saying certified bangers that we keep getting on all the other tracks i just felt like this one lacked some of that pizzazz that the other tracks had but i also do like that this is a calming moment for the album i mean we are getting to the last two tracks here i do like that it is kind of while it's eerie and it's weirdness this is one of those songs i don't know if it would have been on the radio per se because of the weirdness of it but this could be in any teen movie and i would be like yeah this is a this is a great song i, I just think this is uh great so don't get me wrong i'm not saying it's a bad song i just think that of the songs on this album thus far this one was for me the weakest but it's still the weakest is an 8 out of 10. You get what I'm trying to say? Track number 9, Jigsaw Falling Into Place. Mm. Mm. Ooh. The energy's back, baby. Ooh. As you write my number down Just as the drinks arrive Just as they play your favorite song The walls have been in shape They got a Cheshire cat grin There's a bounce to it, you know what I mean? This place is on a mission The moon always is close to the camera Whoever's on the base is killing it Between the notes, the beat goes round and round. Yes, the beat goes round and round. Hey, that's my boy. Such a pickup from the earlier song and just as this energy and this chaoticness that this album really has for me. It's beautiful still. It's it's still in this beautiful melodic way. Those background vocals really haunting and bringing you in. Another track that I just love. Can't wait to go back and listen to this whole album again. All right, final track. Track number 10, Videotape. Piano, okay. 
I love the keys. When I'm at the pearly gate. Beautiful. This will be on my video tape. Oh, what is that? My video tape. Just I just know it's about to build into something great. And it's reaching out to grab me. Mmm. And red, blue, green. And red, blue, green. Mmm. And you are my center when I spin away. Love this. background vocal drum that slightly feels off what is this is a very unique way to end this Okay. 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 This is so interesting with the drum patterns. Everything's all off, but like, there's a feeling. Very sweet little end to the album. I think the drums were just so interesting. Even more so, I mean, his singing was beautiful as it's been throughout the full album, but even more so than his singing and the piano and everything else was just those drum patterns that felt like you were marching through time and also felt like a videotape rewinding, at least to me, throughout time and reminiscing and looking back on what could have been, what is, and what hasn't been been yet just kind of seeing the picture of your life as film really is i feel like they always end their albums with a very beautiful little small song after they've done a huge build-up throughout the rest of the album and i think that this one's no different in the sense of really bookending the album in a great way and that my friends is in rainbows final review this is my favorite radiohead album right now Y'all, this is my favorite one. The feeling that I got from Nude by itself would have made it my favorite one off top. But the music is so beautiful and tightly arranged. It's so cohesive. It's very beautifully haunting the way Radiohead music always is where it has some kind of dystopian feeling. Tom York is killing it on the vocals this might be in my opinion other than you know well there's a couple of songs on okay computer where he has some absolutely killer vocals but this might be one of his best vocal performances i love this album this out if you have not listened to this album i mean if we just sat here i guess you've listened to it but if you haven't listened to it in its entirety by yourself go put this on i'm going to go rewind it back one more time because i need to hear it no interruptions no my thoughts no anything just hear it all the way straight because to me this is no misses yes there's songs that i like better than other songs i mean which album doesn't have that but all together this album is just so cohesive and such a profound and great album so great job radiohead you don't need to hear it from me but this is another banger and so far radiohead i have listened to ok computer kid a and in rainbows and they are all three 10 out of 10s to me and they're different for different likings i don't think one is better than the other to be completely honest i just think that depending on the mood that you're in they're great for what they're great for but this is definitely off of first listen my favorite off of sound alone but who cares about my opinion i want to know what y'all opinion is and what's your favorite radiohead album 
please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for tuning in. Thank you for everything you do and please hit that like and subscribe if you've liked and subscribed to the video. My name is Andre Taylor and I will see you in the next one fam. Bye!